Welcome, everybody, to Two Drunk Dudes in a Gun Room. Brought to you by Savani Army Entertainment. Man, I'm proud of you, Doug. You I remember, remember it today. Remember. <laughs> this is Don. And Doug. Hey, today we got a special guest, man. We're going we're gonna to do another episode of Story Time. And, and to help us with this story, we got Dave. Hey, Dave, go ahead and tell everybody a little bit about yourself. Uh, well, I'm Dave Spooner, and I was stationed with Doug there at and Stewart in the early 2000s and went to the first invasion of Iraq in 03 with him. And then after that, I left uh, Stewart and went to Korea and we stayed in touch, but we never stationed together again. And <clears throat> I retired from the army back in early 2009. Okay. Right. When I got back to Stewart, you, you, and, you and Remick both retired. Yep. Yeah. 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 Do you, do you retire out of Stewart? Yes. Where you at now? Right now we're in Bethlehem, Georgia. Really? Oh, you went back to Georgia? I thought you were up north somewhere. I was. Um, I retired, and I went to work for an a underground mining equipment company called Basiris. Okay. Um, backstory on them is they built most of the steam shovels that did the Panama Canal. Mm. And then I went to work for them in 2009, and then 2012, Caterpillar bought us. And then and we were living in Kannapolis, North Carolina then. And then in 15, they asked me to move up to the Pittsburgh area to be closer to the plant. So I did. And two years later, they closed the plant. Damn. Yeah. So I did some consulting work for a group in India building uh, mining machines and did that for two years until COVID hit. And then in summer of last year, I got a... a job offer for Hyundai construction equipment in Georgia. So here I am. Sure. All, right. All right. That when you were traveling a lot with that that one company for you know, I think that's when me and you picked up our conversations for. Yep. And that, I yep. think that was around my retirement time as well. It, I, it was. I, yeah. 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 So I got me, him and Mikey got drunk last Saturday night I know. On, on Facebook. <laughs> I, had to, I had to go home. Yeah, we actually lost. We actually lost uh, Mikey somewhere. His <laughs> camera was still running, but Mikey was nowhere there anymore. So I don't, I hope he's okay. But, uh, you know, we continue to talk, waiting for him to come back. And he never came back to the, to the, to the camera. All, all I could say is uh, when I got home, about the time I was going to bed, I was I was still watching. I was like, I am proud, man. These these guys are living up to the name. I think we forgot we were on live, though. Actually, so great. Oh yeah, we talked about all kind of shit. Well, we couldn't yeah. pull you live because you didn't have a damn account. Right. Got right. One now. And then, yeah, this. Yeah, I got back on this week just for you, Doug. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about, man. Well, I'm going to tell you, man, a, a funny story today, right? I'll, I'll go and kick it off with something that, that I discovered, man. And and it kind of goes along with what you were talking about, uh, jobs closing and, and hard times coming around. So a, a friend of ours, I don't know why they were doing it, but they got permission to sit up in front of Walmart and they were uh, selling lemonade, right? Okay. I guess they had the kids doing it and they were just kind of there helping them. I don't know what the reason for it was, but uh, a guy walks up and asks for a cup of lemonade and uh, our friend turns around to go ahead and, and start making it for him. And he snatches the kids' money bag and takes off running. <laughs> There's customers chasing this dude down. Our friend's chasing him down. I, I guess he wasn't very fast, but he uh, he threw the money bag down and kept running. And I guess somebody called the cops and they found him and arrested him. But man, if times are getting so rough that you got to hold up the lemonade kid. <laughs> <laughs> hey, gas is getting expensive. I'm telling you. I'm, it is. Oh, man. That is crazy, though. That is absolutely crazy. <laughs> It's, yeah, it, it is insane, man. It is. It is. You know, and, and that's like the second time. I mean, the, the guy from the mines, you know, fucking he's he's messing around with his car and some chick steals it. He walks in the garage <laughs> for like seconds and here's his truck start. And then this meth head <laughs> jumps in there wanting to steal his truck. And and that was a 30 mile. Uh, yeah. They got her for kidnapping, too. Yeah. You, you know, did you hear how uh, that he got it to stop? 
uh, busting the window open or something. Yeah, and then yeah. he choked her out. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he broke the back window. He's like, reached in and put a, her in a rear naked two, choke. What was it? 2015 Chevrolet. Yeah. Up. He's like, just my favorite model. That's my favorite model. They don't make it no more. Well, no, they don't make it no more. It's 2015. <laughs> What what do you do? Jump in the bed? Yeah. Yeah. The bed was open. <laughs> he said he was hanging off for dear life. She was going down set, uh 72. She, yep. was, she was doing 90 miles an hour down 72. There's a video of the cops. They couldn't get a damn uh spike strip under that truck tire to save their life. <laughs> yeah, she would just slow wow. down and go around it. <laughs> <laughs> but she took him for a 30 mile ride. I mean, from, from Salem to Rolla is about 30 miles. Holy shit. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You oh, yeah. Know, at, at Doug's age, he probably couldn't have choked her out any faster. He'd been out of breath, too. Oh, I would have found a way to bust the window open and get in <laughs> instead of hanging on. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What, what you got, Dave? Yeah, I know you've got a damn story. Especially being in Korea. Well, Korea or initial invasion story. Yeah. Oh, initial invasion. Uh, well, there's a lot of funny ones. Um, you know, I guess the first one kicked off as soon as we crossed the berm, you know, <clears throat> being the maintenance team chief had the cop, the Humvee contact truck, right. And beer brought <clears throat> my driver beer brought at that time, these big, tall, lanky, skinny kid. Still is. With, well, not a kid. 